Hi, welcome to Sports Talk Radio. I'm the host, Alex Newman, along with my partners, Devin Dvorak and Alexander Foy. Today, we will be focusing on the NFL draft picks and NBA free agency predictions. Let's start off with NBA free agency predictions. So, a big talk has been on July 1st, will LeBron James opt? Will LeBron James decline his team option and um, decide to like go somewhere like Philly, LA, Houston? And I've even been I've even been hearing that I've even been hearing that Golden State's possibly in the mix. So my I'm gonna do a bold take. I'm gonna say that LeBron's gonna give Cleveland one more year because I just I don't see why he would go to LA. It's just like it's like a young team. Houston's gonna want to re-sign Chris Paul and Capella to the max, and Philly's also kind of just like a young team that I'm not sure it would kind of fit revolve a system around him. So I think he's gonna stay in Cleveland one more year and then join a new team next year. What do you think? Uh, I think he's definitely not going back to Cleveland. He's lost uh, a few years in a row now. Uh, he wants to go to a team that's like a powerhouse, like OKC or. Um, like Houston, he wants to go to Houston with uh, Chris Ball and uh, James Harden. He wants to be able to take more titles, get more rings. I, um, and he wouldn't take a one year because he wants a like a max contract that we can just instead of him going into free agent every every year just so he can chase rings. He's going to go with a solid powerhouse team that he can uh, settle down in and just get a few more rings before he retires. Well, yes, I do see your point of view. However, I'm just confused as. First of all, how do you see OKC as a powerhouse team? Melo's washed. Paul George is probably, Paul George is more than likely leaving, and even if he's not, he wasn't so good on the Thunder last year. Westbrook, I'm not going to say too much about him, but he took 43 shots in an elimination game. That's a little much, in my opinion. And that Thunder team is just so disastrous. And then you have the Rockets, who are going to try and re-sign both Paul and Capella this offseason. How are they going to have the money to re-sign LeBron? Chris Paul will... Chris Paul will take a pick cut to get a ring. He's been on the Clippers, hasn't given, can't get past the first round when he was on the Clippers. He wants to get a ring. Clint Capella is an um, amazing player, but once again, he will also... Sorry to cut you off, but I think he wants to give in his input. So I'm going to say, I'm going to make a bold decision. I think LeBron will go to the Knicks. The Knicks? I, the Knicks. I mean, I see New York as just a perfect place for him. It's like the most famous arena in the world, Madison Square Garden, in a world-class city. And I think a young team could actually be good for LeBron. I mean, he could teach them, like, he could, he could teach them basically how to be better basketball players. I mean, it could go disastrously, and they could, like, you know, lose all their talents. That's what's happened to a lot of teams with big players. But I don't think that LeBron is going to do that. I mean, I think he can, he can be a team player. I've seen him make some nice um, passes and right. interviews with Curry. So now that we talked about the big free agency, more, well, mostly LeBron, I think it's time that we move on to the NFL draft picks. So guys, who do you think will be, who do you think will just like stand out in the NFL draft, and who do you think will just be a bust? Uh, definitely the best player in this draft, in my opinion, was Derwin James. Uh, he can play both safety positions, cornerback, all three linebacker positions, and he can also play the end. I'm pretty sure he also played offensive side of the ball, a uh, few few downs, which can always be good for the Chargers. You know, throw him in the mix, maybe in a wild card formation or a wild um, wild formation, and they can throw the team to off off guard, kind of like a uh, Jabril Peppers type of player, but with more potential. I see. I like your idea of the wild card formation. There are lots of teams that did that. Like even uh, both teams in the Super Bowl tried to evolve that this year, and it actually it worked pretty well for the Eagles. We know it didn't work so well for the Patriots, but we won't be talking about that. Uh, yeah, I do like I do like um, Derwin James. I think he will definitely be a stud. But I think the player that stands out to me is Bradley Chubb. I mean, him and Von Miller on the same team and that same defensive line. Imagine how monstrous that will be. I mean, good luck all lines. That's all I'm gonna say. Another. Um Another uh, player who I think is going to stand out, Josh Rosen. He is a great quarterback, and I think the Jets made a huge mistake in passing up on him. He, he just one of the better passers I've seen when he was in college. I see. So I think I think we're I think we're running out of time here, and we're going to have to cut. But thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this has been ESPN Sports Radio, and I'm your host Alex Newman, along with Devin Dvorak and, and Alexander Ford.